It should come as a little surprise when I look at this question that we are going to have to form an ice table. Initial change and equilibrium concentrations. It says that a sample of Nober, that's what I'm going to call it, that has 0.64 moles in it, is placed in a one liter flask. Now, beautiful thing about concentration, molarity is of course moles per liter. If I have 0.64 moles in one liter, then what's the molarity? Well, it's that divided by one, which comes out to be 0.64 molar. So already this is a pretty nice problem. It says that that many moles placed in one liter flask containing, containing no nitrogen monoxide, so there's zero nitrogen monoxide at the initiation, and no bromine, so zero bromine at initiation. It says then at equilibrium, the flask contains 0.36 moles of uh, Nober. Uh, so I'm going to, once again, it's in a one liter flask, so that's the concentration in moles per liter. How many moles of this and this, respectively, are in the flask at equilibrium? So that's the problem. I'm trying to figure out or fill in these two blanks. Can I do it? Of course I can. The way we handle this is by determining what the difference is between these two. 0.36, the final concentration at equilibrium, minus 0.64, ends up equaling negative 0.28. That is the change in concentration as this goes to equilibrium. I'm now going to use the stoichiometry of this uh, reaction in order to fill in these blanks. You'll notice that this has a 2 in front of it, this has a 2 in front of it, which means that the change in concentration is going to be the same for these guys because they have the same coefficient in front of them. The difference is that this is on the product side, so it's going to be plus 28. What about this one now? Well, I'll go ahead and write down that I've got 0.28 molar equivalents of Nober. How many molar equivalents am I going to have of Br2? I'll put molar equivalents of Nober in the, de in the denominator and molar equivalents of Br2. Now I look at the coefficients. I've got a 2 in front of my Nober and I've got a 1 in front of my bromine. So uh, this is going to come out to be 0.14 as, going to, as my change in uh, the molar equivalents of uh, bromine Br2. Now, if I take 0 and I add 0.28, that gives me 0.28 as my, equili my final equilibrium concentration, 0 plus 0 0.14. 0 0.14 molar is going to be my final e equilibrium concentration for bromine. And that is the answer to the question.